Every week for the past few years, I have researched a big question, a funny why question. I've researched the science, the mathematics, recent theories behind all kinds of things. And I get to ask some pretty ridiculous questions. For instance, is anything real? Come on, how can you possibly answer that? Well, that's not really the point. The point is to bring people in with a great question, make them curious, and then once they're there, accidentally teach them a whole bunch of things about the universe. I ask questions all of the time, but today, this is my question. Why do we ask questions? First of all, people love a good explanation. I mean, they hunt them down. Even people who say they hate learning and that they hate books and all that stuff, they love explanations. Second of all, if you look closely enough and you take the time, anything can be interesting to anyone because everything is related in some way to something they care about. As Albert Einstein said, if you can't explain it simply, you don't understand it well enough. Richard Feynman called the pleasure of finding things out a kick in the discovery. The trick to education is to teach in such a way that people only find out they're learning when it's too late. I realize that questions are very special. We ask them because it's fun. Learning things is a fun experience. It's what Feynman called a kick in the discovery. We also ask questions because learning things allows us to explore what we like and to show off what we know about it, to show who we are. But we also ask questions because we can. Because perhaps uniquely here on Earth, we know that other people can help. And that's a great reason to ask more and more questions, to celebrate more and more whys. We all want to be kicked in the discovery. It feels great, but we don't all have a discovery in the same place. Taking the time to find where someone's discovery is so you can give them a kick there isn't just about whys, it's also a very wise thing to do.